The moment is here, you can stop your search. It's Comics by Perch. Hey, everybody, this is Perch. Uh, well, who doesn't love Harry Potter? Shit, nobody doesn't love Harry Potter. Everybody loves Harry Potter. Are you kidding me? I, there's never been a single person to say anything bad about Harry Potter. So this male is asking a question that seems like pure gold. It says, Dear Perch, the news of a new Harry Potter TV show has got me thinking of ways DC Comics could possibly make money from this. I propose DC Comics works out a deal with Warner Brothers and J.K. Rowling to publish graphic novels based on the books. Almost every Barnes & Noble I've ever been to has their own Harry Potter section, and it has grown since the release of illustrated versions of the books. It's weird, because uh, as we all know, Harry Potter is the realm of transphobes, and the entire world is over it. Nobody is buying anything Harry Potter anymore. It's, it's over. It's all over. It's, uh, it's, it's weird. I don't know why Barnes & Noble, a chain that is actually uh, increasing in sales lately, would have a Harry Potter section and, and you know what's even weirder is I've done some Barnes & Noble myself, and you know what? I have not seen people picketing or protesting the Harry Potter section. I haven't seen uh, people spitting on the books. And in fact, if anything, I just see a lot of people buying that shit. The, the Harry Potter section at uh, Barnes & Noble has grown steadily from pre-COVID through COVID. It's, it's, it's wacky uh, how that has happened. Um, you know what? Actually, here's, uh, I'll tell you this uh, about me, because who doesn't like to why not about me? Um, this is, I, this is kind of an embarrassing story, but I tell you everything. Uh, so I once, uh, with my wife and this is pre kids. So we, we did not have kids. It was my wife and I, and we were bored. I remember, uh, we were looking for something to do. And, and, uh, I got, I, I, I saw in the news or saw somewhere that Harry Potter, the new Harry Potter book. And I don't remember which one it was. I think it was the, uh, uh, it was it was one of the middle ones. It wasn't the the fire goblet one, the, the turning one. I think it was one after that. Anyway, um, the book was was going to be released at midnight, midnight, and uh, this is very exciting. So it was going to be released at midnight, and the people were lining up, and uh, I go, let's go, let's go. So I and my wife's like, I, you know, fuck it, okay, and so we went. We went down to the Barnes and Noble, or was Barnes and Noble, and we stood in line for like 30 minutes to get the midnight copy of Harry Potter. Now, what's funny about that is I wasn't even that excited about the books. I mean, I read them because uh, they're fine, but I mean, I, you know, mostly my favorite part of all the Harry Potter stuff is the audiobook uh, that uh, this uh, this British guy reads because his voice is super relaxing. It's just, I don't know, I had nothing to do with the book. Uh, but anyway, when I would travel around a lot to other countries, I just want something to kind of drown out my thoughts on a plane or while I could do PowerPoint decks or whatever. I would listen to the Harry Potter books. I, I, it was like a, a, just washing over me. I, I still don't remember some of the things that actually happened in those books. But the guy's voice is so good. Anyway, multiple embarrassment in that story. So my wife and I got some beer and we went down there and we stood in line and we drank beer and got the book. And, and we were like, look at all these idiots that are standing in line. And wife's like, you, we are in, we are in line with those idiots. Do you know what that makes us? And I'm like, drunk. And she's like, mm, nope, no. <laughs> anyway, so I've done that. I've, I've stood in line for things twice. I did that. I did for once for that. And then once uh, for um, uh, one of the, it was either the PlayStation 3 or the Wii or one of those things. I stood in line. And, and all those times, I always thought, I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, anyway, back to the mail. Sorry for that little segue of the book. But now you can make fun of me for a new thing. Right? I admit, I admit my stuff. Um, conversely, my favorite line was one that I got to sell to. So when I sold the death of Superman, there's a line that went out my shop and around the block, the fucking huge. And it went on for like six hours. It was, it was amazing. That was, that was, I was on the other end of that, just collecting all that cash. though. and I, so I'd look at all these people and dollar signs over there, which I recognize has to be how people looked at me and the other idiots with. Um, where, where this guy was talking about DC Comics. So uh, it says, I'm thinking that if they set their graphic novel series in that same section, not only would it attract potential newcomers from the TV series, but also older fans who have grown up on Harry Potter like I have. As for possible writers, I know I'm being optimistic, but I would love to see a Neil Gaiman write the series. He wouldn't, because uh, they don't need it, because J.K. J. K. Rowling wrote the series. And, and But anyway, I doubt that most would care if he did, uh, but at the very least, he would make it good. Anyway, I would like to hear your thoughts. Uh, P.S. I've come up with a name for Miles Morales. 
Black Widow. Think about it. Okay, thank, thank you for that. Um, so first off, in terms of a writer, I would go with a writer who's really good at doing adaptations. I know he's been on the show. I would put Jim Zub on that job any day of the week. I'd put, I think that's, that's the perfect, it's Rowling's book, but Zub would both adapt it well and bring some, he, he writes, he writes characters in those situations just well. It'd have a lot of three dimension to it. It'd be good. But um, no, sure. I mean, why not? I mean, it's, it's free money for DC. I mean, the, the problem is I don't think Rowling is going to cough it up to do it because why, why does she need to? But, and, or at least DC comics and, and Warner doesn't want to pay her the money to get the rights to do it. But I would do a deal if I was DC, even if I, I only got to keep 10% of the revenue. Basically, my deal was, you know, I'm not going to cough up money up front, in which case I don't know if Rowling would ever do it. But um, basically, you know, you get 90% of the profit, we, we get 10%. I would take that deal because that 10% for DC would still be worth quite a bit after cost, of course. But um, I'd put a really strong artist on it. I would get somebody who is uh, like a Jim Chung or somebody like that who, I mean, that'd be pretty good. Do some Art Adams covers and then, uh, or, or, you know, get him to do some backup stories. I, I would do that kind of playful art. Um, I think Chung would be perfect for this project. Do have Jim Zub on writing, Chung on art, and then uh, just, just, just roll it out there. And the, the key for DC would be make a little bit of money from Harry Potter. Because even if you're giving away all that money to Rowling, that's one thing. But then... I would put inserts into that thing or I would put s something in the shrink wrap, I don't know, somewhere where it's like, hey, you're reading this. Do you realize you got like the books of magic and Vertigo and like Constantine or whatever, like anything. I, like if you love fantasy and adventure and other stuff, you should try Superman. We got Superman over here. Like I would use it as a wedge specifically to promote all the things that are not Batman. So think about it for a moment. Batman's probably the least you know, connected title to Harry Potter in terms of style and kind of genre and the characters. But a lot of the other stuff, I mean, you could make an argument, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, uh, The Flash, Superman. I mean, you know, let alone things like uh, the Books of Magic and that kind of stuff. You could make an argument that those, uh, those books share in the same kind of general fantasy adventure genre. And if you could get even 5% of the people who had come in to buy that Harry Potter thing, because they need every Harry Potter thing to also kind of move over to some of those other books, I, I mean, it would be, you'd, you'd be hitting gold. It'd be worth it. So if, yeah, if I'm Warner Media, if I'm DC, I'd absolutely make a play for that. I mean, why not? The other thing about it is this thing becomes your, you know, you, you'd be selling that for 20 years, these books. And if you, if you really want to screw it, then you really want to just, just troll somebody when you're putting this thing together, offer it to one of those uh, comic writers that, that is, uh, you know, throwing a complete and utter tantrum about how awful J.K. Rowling is and be like, hey, would uh, like, hey, hey, Joe Glass, would you like to come in and write the Harry Potter graphic novel? Would you like to would you like to write it? And uh, just like a, a, you watch all of that, uh, that resistance melt away. Like what money? Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, I, I'll take that right away. I've always loved J.K. Rowling. Ah, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. That's cruel. That's cruel. What I'm saying right there. I, I'm sorry for that. That's not what I'm. That's not the person I want to be. I'm. I'm. I'm me. But anyway, yeah. Do do a Harry Potter graphic novel series. Absolutely. So, what do you think? I, and and by the way, I know a lot of people in the comments are like, I hate Harry Potter. That's fine. But you got to admit, it would sell. That thing would sell like crazy. You'd be you'd be insane not to take that money. But maybe you would like it. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think about the idea. What creative team you'd put on it. And then tell me something embarrassing about yourself. You know, did you, st what did you stand in line for? Ah, oh, shit, I take it back. I've stood in line for concert tickets. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure there's other things. I think I stood in line for actually the Use Your Illusion albums. How about that? I'm old. Anyway, thanks for listening.